This video is brought to you by Logitech. It is Wednesday, or as Joey calls it, all right, Monday, one day, Tuesday, two day, Wednesday, when, huh, what day? <laughs> and you know what? I'm calling it simply a day off. It's been a minute since I've had the chance to simply roam around and enjoy myself. A perfect day to travel light and explore the best of what the App Store has to offer on the iPad since the announcement of the Apple Design Awards. The Apple Design Awards were first introduced in 1997 and they focus on apps and games that excel in various aspects including visual design, innovation, performance, technology adoption and user experience. Winning an Apple Design Award is a significant achievement for, you know, designers and developers and as an app designer myself, this is a bit like my little Oscars moment and by the way, a great way to discover awesome titles. So my goal for the day is to show you the M4 iPad Pro through the eyes of the best of the best on the App Store. Perhaps if you end up grabbing at least one useful or fun app after this, I'd call this episode a success. By the way, if you end up enjoying this video, subscribe because why not? With that being said, I'm going full minimal today, grabbing the usual pocket EDC items and just the iPad itself. Nothing more. Perhaps the AirPods Max as well. Anyways, for that purpose, I'm cradling my 13-inch M4 inside the Logitech Combo Touch. What I'm excited about this new and improved version of the Combo Touch for the M4 iPad models can be broken down twofold. First of all, we no longer have the denim-like material like we did in the past, but instead witness a more premium and protective combo all around at no expense. In fact, the first thing that I'd like to point out here is how much lighter and thinner this keyboard case is in its entirety no matter if you compare it with the competition or even the previous model. Here we have a full all-round protection of the tablet, including all four corners, giving me a lot more freedom to just rock the iPad as is, even without a bag or sleeve. While still at home, I loaded most of the winners on the tablet, but I couldn't let myself go before trying the dedicated New York Times Games app, which won the delight and fun category. The biggest hit, of course, being Wordle. So I'm playing Wordle. Okay. For an extra challenge, turn on hard mode. No, I'll pass that. After struggling with my first word a bit, Ned? Ned? <laughs> I reminded myself why this simple word guessing game is so addictive. But if somehow this is not your cup of tea, perhaps connections will hook you up or you have to group words that share a common thread. See? Who has been in the army? Having procrastinated and miserably failing with a minute puzzle, it was finally time to go to one of my favorite cafes. This app stays on my iPad, by the way. You know, while I'm driving, I'm thinking that having gone through the various apps and games, I know for a fact that it won't be any competition or challenge for the M4 to break a sweat. Regardless, it will still be interesting, you know, how the battery will behave throughout the day and how I'll end up um, at the end of the day. While enjoying my second cup of joe for the day and admiring the beautiful summer temperatures, I felt it was time to delve into the second winner in the delight and fun category, which is Bear's Gratitude. Now, I've heard from many places how useful daily journaling is, and apparently this app serves that purpose with flying colors, but I find it too cute and huggable for my taste. I'm sorry, no, I tried. Not. To be honest, I prefer spending those few minutes a day being productive and, you know, tackling some of my most urgent emails and tasks, despite this being my day off. Skimming and replying to some sensitive opportunities with the signature detachable design of the Combo Touch keyboard is a breeze. The keyboard section can be fully removed for a cleaner iPad-only experience as it did before, while preserving the all-around protection and of course, the kickstand on the back, which I'll get back to a bit later. But before that, let me show you the second thing that makes this keyboard unique, the trackpad. This is hands down the largest iPad track you can enjoy on the iPad. And to give you a perspective, you can see what it looks like placed side by side with the latest 13-inch MacBook Air. It is massive. This is of course a multi-touch trackpad, so you can swipe, pinch, double tap and more. So once I skimmed through my work stuff, I decided to check the second category in the Apple Design Awards, which is called Interaction. 
and it features winners that quote, deliver intuitive interfaces and effortless controls that are perfectly tailored to their platform. The first winner is an app called Crouton, which is a recipe app. To me, it feels more like a library than a traditional recipe app where you can look up recipes directly. For a very small annual subscription, you can unlock its full potential, which I did by the way, and import recipes using various methods. URLs, images, text, code, and more. Aside from the clean interface, what's unique here is the ability of the app to parse each website and extract only what matters most to you when it comes to a recipe. Prep time, ingredients, instructions, nutritional information, and more. Furthermore, you can create shopping lists based on each recipe. What I'll find most use of is the ability to switch between metric and imperial system on the fly, which is always a hassle when looking up measurements online. Once the initial recipe library is complete, you simply run a recipe and go through each cooking step while also being able to mark each ingredient as complete. Oh, and you can also create meal plans. At this point, after having spent quite a bit of time gathering my initial recipes, I feel hungry, so I think it's time for me to go grab a bite. So the next app in the interaction category is called Rhythmos, and I think this might be my all-time favorite of this entire list of apps. It's definitely a stay for me. Imagine some of the best puzzles mixed with music-inspired rhythms. I would call this mix a therapy, especially if you zone out with a decent pair of headphones. The purpose of the game is to use simple gestures and create pathways to put together a broken down solar system of different cultures. When successfully assembling a new tiny planet, things even get educational and you get to learn about music and instruments like the first 1979 synthesizer and more. Beautiful game. As before, by the way, the kickstand of the combo touch comes in super clutch in many situations as there are plethora of various angles you can take advantage of, making it versatile for typing, simply viewing or browsing, sketching, and of course, reading. This being the 13-inch iPad Pro, I can easily, easily back to a tilted position and use the full software keyboard of iPad OS if necessary. <sighs> the next category in the Apple Awards is the innovation. And here, Apple picks winners that provide a state-of-the-art experience through novel use of Apple technologies that sets them apart in their genre. The first winner is Procreate Dreams, which is the next masterpiece behind the all famous Procreate drawing app. Here we're talking about 2D animations. As someone who likes to draw and create wallpapers on the iPad, the interface of Procreate Dreams takes very little getting used to, as all I had to do to get started is figure out how the timeline works. In less than a few minutes, I managed to create a simple animated drawing, opening my mind to other potential video animations and integrations in the future. For the purpose of drawing, by the way, I grabbed the Logitech Crayon this time around, which is a carpenter-style pencil that works seamlessly with the latest M4 iPad. The second winner in the innovation category is a game called Lost in Play. And as soon as I entered the mysterious animated puzzle adventure, I really got lost in the play. <laughs> especially when I immersed myself with the AirPods Max. It's a game like no other, the plot of which is to help a brother and sister on an epic adventure, being lost in their own imagination and help them find their way home. All characters, including the main ones, Toto and Gal, speak in a made-up language, which is hilarious. And the gameplay couldn't be simpler. To me, this game is a bit like meditating. Calm effects and music, fun puzzles and plenty of joy. You know, looking at this game, and knowing of the Procreate Dreams capabilities, I won't be surprised if one is made with the help of the other. When it comes to working on apps like Procreate, where the focus is primarily the touch interface, the detaching capabilities of the combo touch again come in super handy. When I don't need the keyboard at play, there are three ways to bench it. First of all, I can just put it on the side altogether, which might not be the best choice if you're at a coffee shop, for example. But a better way is to simply swivel it back to where it becomes fully inactive, preventing accidental touches or inputs. But if you really want to keep the keyboard attached yet out of the way, you can simply detach it and snap it in reverse, resulting in a super clean rear presence. In case you're wondering, the magnetic attachment of the keyboard is plenty strong, so you have nothing to worry about. 
At this point in the day, I move to the next category in the awards, social impact, the purpose of which is to improve lives in a meaningful way and shine a light on crucial issues. The representation of that category was a winner called The Wreck, which to be honest was kind of hard for me to go through. The game is a visual novel telling the story of a writer who's abruptly called to a hospital to make a life-changing decision about the fate of her mother. The topics here are death and survival, which honestly is not my cup of tea. No, that's not my cup of tea. So I decided to move on to something more positive and try a runner-up in the same category called cityscapes. Here, as a mayor, I need to make careful decisions on how to build, grow and sustain a city. This game is part of Apple Arcade, and it's a great approach to a classic city building recipe. While browsing the various app contestants, I stumbled upon an old purchase of mine which I had somehow forgotten about. It's a four-time App Store winner called IA Writer, which is perhaps the cleanest and least distracting way to focus on your words. By keeping things super minimal, it allows me to keep my mind on the text in front of me, and for a moment, I got lost on some content ideas I have for upcoming Microsoft products that I'm very excited about. Having spent half an hour writing, I can safely say that the keyboard typing experience on the Combo Touch is excellent and very close to what you can witness on a laptop. Fantastic key travel and response, full range of shortcut keys, including a dedicated do not disturb, and of course, illumination. There are 16 brightness levels and of course, automatic adjustment. The keyboard draws power through the smart connector directly from the iPad, so you won't have to worry about charging it separately either. So I encourage you to head over to the very first link in the description below and check out Logitech's Combo Touch yourself. Before heading home, I stopped by the studio because it was close by for reasons I don't want to talk about. Now, since I was here, I decided to play with the last category I can experience on the iPad, which is visuals and graphics. Now, Lice of Pi is a winner available only on the Mac, but Rooms works on the iPad fantastic, and what can I say? It is a very difficult game slash experience to describe. Imagine Instagram filled with little 8-bit worlds created by other people. I spent just 15 minutes on one of those rooms and it is just amazing. And yeah, you can build one yourself on your own if you want to. So, it is uh, almost 8 o'clock. And right now the iPad is at 58% after using it pretty much all day outside in bright daylight. Also hooked up to my iPhone for internet connection because this is just the base model, not the uh, cellular version. Out of all the apps that I've tested today, I'm keeping few of them. First of all, I'm keeping croutons because I think I'll find a lot of views for me to gather recipes. I'm keeping New York Times because I have to get better at Wordle. <laughs> That's a fact. I'm also keeping Rhythmos because it's absolutely amazing and I think I'll use Rooms for some funky projects that I can post on social media. Now, Lost in Play, I have you know, a lot of love for it, so I might end up purchasing the full version of it. Of course, I already purchased Procreate Dreams, which is fantastic. Now, a bonus app that I want to feature or show you today is not a winner, but it's something that I'm very excited about and I'm actually using at home. I'm renovating my bedroom, my master bedroom, and for that purpose, I downloaded an app called Planner 5D, which helped me scan using AR, you know, put in the precise measurements and I can take it from here and actually redesign it from scratch, which is amazing. And it's super simple to, you know, use AR to gather all the little nooks and cracks and creases, uh, the different angles of the walls, height, of course, width and pretty much all sorts of dimensions. It's a great app. And that pretty much concludes Day. If you are an iPad fan like me, be sure to check out my iPad review and of course, my take on the comparison between it and the M3 MacBook Air. Like and subscribe to the channel as well as my newsletter and as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is E, over and out.